The story of Alice in Wonderland may have been based off of a real person, but at the very least, it is a fully accepted fact that the story was written for a very specific little girl. And this girl was Alice Little. Alice Little was born May 4th of 1852. She was one of 10 children. She had two older brothers, one older sister, and six younger siblings. As the story goes, it was in Oxford, England, 1858, on the 4th of July that the very first version of the Alice in Wonderland story was told. Lewis Carroll was traveling down the river in a rowboat for a picnic with 10-year-old Alice, 8-year-old Edith, and 13-year-old Lorena Little. The Littles were a very close friend of Lewis Carroll's, and these were the three younger daughters. As the story goes, inspiration struck him, so he decided to use young Alice's name as a character in a story he made up. Ten-year-old Alice begged him to write down the story for her, and so he did. Publication followed this shortly. However, the original story simply took place as Alice in the Underground. This underground area later became Wonderland. Throughout her life, Alice Little was both an avid artist and a model, both in childhood and adulthood. At Christ Church, she was tutored by the leading 19th century English art critic, John Ruskin, who supported and encouraged her talent for drawing. In December of 1871, Alice embarked upon a grand tour of Europe with her sisters, Edith and Lorena. They wrote diligently in a travel journal and sketched the sights along the way. At this time, Alice was just 19. While in Naples, she wrote of the showers of stones and lumps and red hot stuff and puffs of smoke as the three sisters boldly conquered the summit of Mount Vesuvius. It erupted soon after. By the time Through the Looking Glass and What Alice Found There was published, she was almost 20 years old, and Carol's close friendship with the little family had weakened. His sequel is often said to be a fond farewell to Alice as she entered adulthood. It was during a family holiday in Freshwater on the Isle of Wight that Alice first encountered the photographer Julia Margaret Cameron. Cameron photographed Alice Little and her sister several times during the 1870s. She produced some of the most remarkable work of Alice Little. She portrayed Alice's numerous classical figures, including the goddess Pomona, Athena, and Ceres. In time, Alice Little would marry a cricket player named Reginald Hargreaves. She had three children, two of whom died in the First World War. She would later sell the first draft of Alice in Wonderland that Carol had given her as a gift. Settled in the family home of Cuffnell's Hampshire, Alice continued to evade the public eye until 1928. At this point, she was already a widow and financial hardship had come upon her. She was forced to sell the original manuscript given to her by Carol to an American collector. This caused national outcry across all of the UK. But this did bring Alice Little back into the light. She received an honorary degree from Columbia for her services to literature. She was also consulted on a new Paramount film adaptation of the Alice in Wonderland story, which was released in 1933. Alice Hargraves died on 16 November 1934, sparking tributes to the departed Alice in Wonderland. In 1948, the original manuscript was returned to the UK as a thank you for fighting alongside the US in the Second World War.